dang pig. Them cocksucking some bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. I think my work here is done. Count speed, gentlemen. I bid you That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Geraldine, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. You fools are about to be real dark.
here. We looked everywhere. Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on, I Marcy, it. Mr. Marcy, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparosa, I think he said. <laughs> yes, bandit country. <laughs> Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough.
Just finished helping the patient. How can I help? Hey, mister. Yes, Hear about that gray robber? Found two Lord, people dead in his barn. Here. Apparently, there's Three. treasure involved. Is that so? Any artillery need can be met. I hear half done Nobody Hank's traveling circuit puts on a hell of a show. A fine hello to you, madam. Hello there. I don't know how you get away with these prices, mister. Stay away from the salt pork and You don't say. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, you know, me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? 
In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Shite, somebody doesn't like us. Cut the rope, Irish. We're sitting ducks here. Grab it if you're running low. Nobody shoots the Irish in labor. For the love of God. Well, I'll be over time. When are you sending the men out to fight? Takes a life. Welcome to Mexico, Johnny boy. Makes Austin look like fucking a pallet. Look after us, you tell her on the heart. I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. There's the idiot. What the hell did you do to these fellas? I recall it was something to do with money and possibly some misunderstanding about a fellow's daughter, but the details as Got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. The lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that polka? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williams. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. 
A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? They're still coming! Behind it, big rock! Damn it now, Chaser! country and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on fraternizing with the notorious Irish outlaws. Sakes alive! On top of the cliff! Remember any of it, Irish? I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. It's up! There's two more! We made it! Thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that boat in death? <laughs> These horses look fresher! <laughs> Healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man. Drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. I, he was a real nice chap, or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. 
You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a back ugly man. But not a bad one. Just to 